Greetings. So I just wanted to do a quick video to tell you about the last internship and also to tell you about the next internships as well. So we've obviously did a five month internship over the last winter and then we did a three month internship last spring and they went very well. And in the last three month internship, we had people, students from all over the world, including Zimbabwe, Holland, Argentina, all over the place. It was a really beautiful mix of people and we had, a, we had a great time together. I think many of them will be returning in the future. So our next internships will be starting on November the 16th, and that will be a four month internship. That will be this year. And then next year in 2025, we'll be starting another four month internship on April the 1st. So please get in touch if you're interested to come and help out, to come and learn, to come and experience everything that we have here to offer. So in the last internship, the three month internship, we were mostly managing the pre-existing forest system that we have that's about three and a half years old. And we were pruning the trees, doing a lot of chop and drop. So it's interesting how the internship at different times of year gives different type, types of experience. And on the next internship, we'll actually be um, starting on a new farm, on a new project which is a conventional farm. So we'll be looking at how to turn a conventional farm, almost a monoculture farm, into a polycultural uh, regenerative agroforestry system. We'll also be returning to work at Dalziel Food Forest, where we've been establishing the system through, for three and a half years now. So the next two internships will, will offer more than we've ever been able to offer before, because the students will, will be able to see how to manage a system that's three and a half years old, and also how to convert a pre-existing conventional farm into something that's more regenerative. So like I say, please get in touch if you're interested, just send us an email. We can even have a chat on the phone if you're interested to hear more details. Keep growing, much love. Why are you cutting trees, Juan? To feed the soil, man. You're destroying the forest. I'm feeding the soil, man. <laughs> You're feeding the soil. Yeah. Yeah. Good this is good mulch. Good this mulch. is really good. It's carbon. We'll bring it in the soil and we'll make a nice entropic system and a lot of fungus and these are the important ones, see, down here. This is the oak, and we want it to get old oak. This is our climax tree. And until then, we'll have a lot of nice almonds and every tropical food. <laughs> We're trying to make sure that it has enough room to still grow, that it won't be covered, it has lots of sunlight. <laughs> <laughs> And drop, chop, 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 and dr